One, two, three, that's the A. Okay, so we're looking, regular grips. We've got my regular grips. And I want to do a turn and throw, so I want to get him loaded on my hip. The way I'm going to set that up is I'm going to drive into him and make him take a step back. His reaction is going to be to step back into me. And that allows me to turn and bring him up onto my hip. When I turn and bring him up onto my hip, I can then go into my uchana and drive him around. So if I do that in a flowing motion, got my grips, I drive into him. As he drives back, I can fly him through the air and get my tape down. So that's one of my options from that position. Second option of the same setup. I'm gonna drive into him. As he drives back, I step across, go into my tire toshi. So I step across, rotate, and drive. See that again? Got my grips, I drive into him. He drives back, I rotate, and step in, tire toshi. Take him to the ground. Techniques on the ground. Anytime I see a little bit of daylight under this armpit, my thoughts start to turn to Kimuras. I'm weird like that. Second I see this angle, I can set this up. I'm gonna go against here. I'm gonna block. I don't use my thumb. This allows me to get a grip on his wrist. His wrist has a fat side and a thin side. So I can lock onto it. I get some rotational control there. If I put my thumb in, I don't have the same control. So I get my block against him. He's sitting up. I'm gonna sit up and pass. And then I'm going to let gravity do the work. As we fall back down, my elbow against the ground creates a lever. This has been lifted up. It's done all the work for me. I haven't had to rip it free. This hand's in place. So I'm using a lever. I come underneath here. Come to my own wrist. Again, no thumbs. I'm now gonna rotate. Left foot goes to the ground, right foot goes to my knee. I'm gonna bring this high, and then I'm gonna rotate it. If it's low here, we've got loads of degrees of freedom of movement in the shoulder. The second I bring it up and tight, he taps way quicker. So that's my Kimura. From this position, reverse the position. He's on the ground. Happens a lot. And here, I'm working. This arm's floating out here. He's looking, ideally, for an underhook here. So he, again, gives me the daylight. I see this. I'm going to go, again, over the top, clamp this down. I'm going to pull up with the back of my hand, get to my own wrist, step up, rotate. A lot of people will teach to go to north-south here. It's a strong position, but the second I rotate here, his hand's coming back, he's got a better chance to grip onto something. I like to never even give him that chance. From the time we're on the ground, the whole way through, his hand has never passed a point where he can grip anything. If he does grip something, it'll happen sometimes. It's very important that I don't try and pull in this direction, I'm pulling against his strength. What I'm gonna do is pull away and then rotate back around to finish this lock. Same concept, different position. I'm on my back, he's on top of me. I've got my arms to the inside, creating a frame. As I make a frame and make some space, I'm gonna slide my hand down to the wrist, and again, I let gravity, he drives, I let gravity do the work. Okay, from here, I don't have my legs around his body. As I start to rotate my body though, he's got a choice. He can tap, or he can roll through. When he rolls through, we're back where we started. Final thought with our Kimuras is, anytime I've got this figure four grip, I'm only a couple of inches away from a wrist lock. Mm. So we can always add that in as a little bit of added pain. 
And this figure four lock, if we stand up, this figure four lock, we're gonna see it from a lot of different positions. Even when he's behind me, as he starts reaching around me, again, I've got a lever. One end, the other end of this lever. Pull them against each other, and I can go into my Kimura grip. It's a very, very, very powerful grip that we can use to control and dominate someone. One thing to be aware of with the Kimura grip though, if he's going for a Kimura on me from top side, he's going for a Kimura on me, is the way that he's locking himself to me to go for the Kimura, as he starts trying to get that locked in, if I can get a knee in between us, he's at risk of me going for an armbar. So anytime, if he's looking for that Kimura grip, so say he's here, and he's trying to set me up for an armbar, he's looking for that Kimura grip on that arm. He's got to always be wary of me coming back with an armbar. So all the time that I'm looking for these grips, I've got to be very careful I don't give him space to bring that knee inside. If that knee's starting to come inside, I'm at risk. So I've got, just got to be aware of it. I'm working for this, but I've got to be low. I've got to be controlled. If I start coming up here and give it loads of space, that knee's going to come up between us, and that's going to cause me a problem. Okay? So it's always something to be aware of when I lock myself to the other person. Like, I'm controlling him, but he could also control me. This Kimura grip is a super powerful grip, and one that we use a lot. This bar here, it's a lever. Most people's forearm, a man's forearm, is about a foot long, 12 inches. Okay? So, you're multiplying the force by the length of the lever. If I put one pound of pressure on his elbow, come out here, pretty 12 pounds. It's a, a force multiplier, the longer the lever. That's why I'm not looking to grip in the middle, I want to go as far down this lever as possible to get as much force as I can as a multiplier using my lever. Always looking for levers. Two of my favorite levers on the human body, the shin bone and the forearm. They work very similarly. It's a kind of an end connection point, but I start rotating this, controlling both ends of this lever and rotating it, and rotating his whole body. Same thing happens with the shin bone. I get this and I start rotating to the inside or the outside. I can move where his whole body goes just using that one lever. Thanks for helping me out. Good training. Awesome.